Welcome to the lesson on environment and waste disposal. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to learn how wastes need to be disposed properly. What is the biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste? What is an ozone layer? What is happening to this ozone layer? You are causing pollution. Please pick up the plastic cup and dispose it properly. But I am just throwing away a plastic cup. If you throw food, it will get decomposed by insects, animals and fungus in time. But plastic does not decompose. Oh! Yes, the plastic cup will mix in the soil and make the soil unhealthy. The same soil is used to grow food for us and then our food will also be unhealthy. Plastic is non-biodegradable. What is non-biodegradable? Substances that are broken down by biological processes are said to be biodegradable. I don't understand, father. If you throw this food in the soil, slowly the insects and fungus will use it. Thus, this food will be called biodegradable. But take this plastic cup for example. It will not be used by the insects, fungus, plants or the soil. It is called non-biodegradable. Do you know that the sun's rays are very harsh? But if it were harsh, then we would all have diseases. Good. The reason why we do not get disease from the sun is because of the ozone layer. What is that, Dad? It is a layer of oxygen compounds that exist in the environment high up. This layer protects us from the harmful sun's rays like the ultraviolet rays. Oh! Let me show you the difference between the ozone and the normal oxygen we breathe. Our normal oxygen is made up of two oxygen molecules, while the ozone is made up of three oxygen molecules. This ozone is very poisonous and cannot be used for normal breathing. But when it becomes the ozone layers, it protects us. Okay, but is there anything to worry about? There is a lot to worry about. This ozone layer is becoming thinner. But how, Dad? The ozone layer has become thin because of pollution from a chemical called chlorofluorocarbons. And how is the chemical reaching there? From our refrigerators. This chemical is used in them. There is also a chance that the ozone layer has a hole in it now. Oh! If the ozone layer goes away, we will get many skin diseases and even cancer. This is dangerous. Yes, we need to think carefully before causing more pollution to the environment. At the end of this lesson, we are able to understand the importance of proper waste disposal, difference between biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes, what is ozone layer and why it is becoming thin. <laughs>